I'm Leslie Smith and I'm president of the Pacific Northwest Basketball Officials Association. And we're here training at the PNBA Academy. We're here to train officials in our association to be the best officials in the Pacific Northwest. So let's get started. And then we're going to sit so out. He was on court three too, so you're just going to, we'll be over here yeah. for this game. Yeah. So listen and to then me. They're gonna, and then we're going to be watching and talking about their positioning and how they court coverage and all that kind of stuff, okay? That's great. Okay. So, Okay. They want two on the side. Let's do the right side. Let's do the right side. Let's do the right side. I got one. Yep. Heads up. Okay, one he didn't look at him. He was working. Oh, look at him. Here we go, look at him. Here we go, look at him. Here we go, look at him. Hey, Dio, don't run away from the ball! Don't run away from the ball! Right on side, right on. Box out, box out, box out. Hey, let's go. Run, run, get in front of Steve. Get him. Hey, Tyler, just run with the ball. Just run with the ball. Left feet, get up, get up. Good D, I'll take that. Good hit. Hey, just run with the ball. It's okay, that's a good look. You gotta be ready for that. Somebody's gotta stop ball. Don't let him get that deep. Stop ball. He's gonna put it on the ground, put it up all the way. Fire it! Fire it! Keep moving, keep moving. Come on, guys! Hey, you see it coming, you gotta go get that! Hey, go motion, go motion. Yeah, nothing. Fire yourself, Tommy, fire yourself. Keep ball, Tyler. Keep man, keep ball. Go, D up. Now, D up. Don't run away, don't run away, D up. Come on. Come on. Fight through that, it's a moving screen, Adam. You fight through it. You fight through it, it's a moving screen. Hey, F, fight through it, stop going around. Stop going around too and fight through it. Keep moving. Hey, ball. Hey, ball. Gotta see it, gotta see it. Have good hands, be ready for passes, guys. Good D hands. Oh! 
Yeah, I got those going on. We're running kids. We said that. That's why we're doing it. Just stay here, and if you change, then you are just, okay? Just don't leave just to, just because the ball came into your life, okay? Is in that situation? First of all, take a deep breath. Relax a little bit. You pretty much like this. Try, try to relax yourself a little bit. And he was talking about playing the center position. When you're in the center, you're always going to be either two steps below. You notice my shoulders never turn. Or two back to the same spot. The two shot, and then you're secondary on rebounding. So once the ball goes up the rebound, don't be in such a hurry to get out there. Stop, take a look, make sure the rebound's clear. And what you want to do is look at your players on the floor. If you've got four or five guys here, you might want to stay here before you head out with your seat position. Make sense to you? Okay, good. Good 
Okay, so one thing I want you guys to be aware of is you probably feel comfortable with each other, but it doesn't look like it, okay? And the reason being is because everybody's picking up the ball coming up court. It's three of us, right? Everybody has a job. If the ball's in your primary, then it's your responsibility. Right. The other two guys, you got to get to your spot to officiate, right? Now, if a person is going to rotate, Make sure your partner knows that you did that. Uh -huh. Remember we whispering in your ear about he, he didn't see? Right. So if he didn't see now, you okay. have the responsibility Let's to fill the hole. Because he didn't pick Let's you up go. until you're way up here. Okay. okay. Right. No, no. Oh, 
signal give a strong you got to go up first to stop the clock uh -huh. and then you got to go down here okay 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 now on this play you had down here the foul. The foul. Uh -huh. where do you hit the guy at okay so if you're lead usually what you're going to see is from here down what, what should happen and i'm glad you got the call because the trail anything up high the trail at least in high school in college basketball, your trail should be able to pick up anything here and up. Because you're looking right down in here for bodies. So, so, and now I usually ask the question, did he hit him hard? You say he hit him in the face. So, it's a good call. Okay, okay, good. But if he just barely touched him and you make that call, now you might have a problem. So, you talk about that with your crew. Okay, okay good, good, good job. There you go.
Whatever you were telling him. Go ahead. No, I was just telling him on that. I said I had no problem with the, the offensive call here. I said I just asked him who's who's primary defender that was. And I said that was Lee's primary defender. So I was saying give Lee the first crack on it. And then I started to talk about his C position up yeah. top. So we understand what he was saying? Yo. So we understand what he was saying? Yep, yep. Look at, look at, look at your guys and make sure he's not he's not involved in that call, then you're gonna step in. No, so that is that what you said? No, so that should have been the lead's call. That basketball terminology is a secondary defender, is what we call it. Which means this guy came from that side. So whoever's at the lead position has to take the secondary defender all the way. Although he started from that side of the floor, so you got to stick with the play. Because yeah. you still got primary defenders. So if something happens to the primary defender, then you got it. But then now the secondary defender comes in, so the leads, and what you guys got to do is make good eye contact with each other. And you got to get a good position on the floor. So you got to make good eye contact with And then you you were kind of hesitant there. Were you sure of yourself or what? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so so the good news is somebody, the good news, the good news is somebody made the call. But in terms of basketball terminology, secondary defender, always give the lead. The first crack at it. If the lead doesn't make a call, then we have what we call a secondary cadence whistle, and then that's when you got to go strong. You got to go here, here, and then here. That's and then punch that's it that way. Yeah, yeah. No, not, not, yeah, yeah not in front of front. Yeah, punch yeah. yeah. okay. it where you're going to go. See that? Okay, so we do do this because I was told not to do that. Oh, no, that's not high school. Yeah. 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 In, in yeah. high school, okay. you lose these, and then you just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. And if you're that way, Learn the way you had on the floor so you go here and punch that way. Look at where my head's at. My head's still watching the play. I don't have to. Most people watch the arm and go that here yeah. and go here is where you want to be. Okay? Okay. Make sense to you? Yeah. And just to stay there. And then you want to make good eye contact with your, with your lead here. Make sure the lead got all the players before you bail out. Okay? And, and, and one of the things that, that that will make you better is that it makes you ambidextrous. So even the out of bounds, you don't have to go here. You know, you don't have to go here. It's all here and here. And then, like in that play, if you go, you know, this way, now you're losing all the players that were to your right. You know, so if you do like Robert does, boom, here, now you have still have everybody in front of you. So yeah. learn where you're at on the floor. Okay. If you're on this side, yeah. what most people do, they're right-handed and they turn and go this way. Learn where you are on the floor. I used to just draw a, a thing on my floor. You just stand in spots and go, if I'm on this side of the floor, I'm going to go here, and I go that way. My head's focused still right here. Because too often we go here, and everybody's going here, yeah. and you got all these players here. So you learn where you're at on the floor. It's usually mostly your outside on, so that way you can still focus on all the players. Yeah, that's great. I've never heard that before. That's yeah. really good info. You know, and, and it's you got a whole bunch of people here. You're going to learn some stuff. And, yeah. it's a matter of, <laughs> and it's a matter of practicing. Yeah. You'll learn you know, some stuff. That's why we're here. And, and, and the thing is to practice that at doing, home. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. not yeah. only practice yeah, like this, said, because you, you get used to it. You know, watch a game. Watch a game, and when that thing happens, you go, twig, yeah, that. Boom, this way. Yep. Boom, you know, watch clips, a game on TV, high school game on TV, a college game on TV, whatever it is. You know, the same mechanic, men's basketball is the same mechanics at high school, pretty much. So all you gotta do is just the same, mimic what they're doing. Yeah. And, and you take know. your time, because what yeah. happens, the minute everybody blows a whistle, your hands and in your mind, just take your time. I talk to myself, okay, I got a charge, I got a talking to myself. Now I'm observing the player. I get the foul, the charge is on 33. So now I can hustle over to the table. Yep. So just slow down. Okay. I don't know who's out there. I didn't put him out.
I got clothes down. So, so our setup out here is important. So we have a at a 45 degree angle, and I talk about having the belly button connected to the front of the rim. And we basically did this. And the way we move is we mirror the ball. So as the ball moves, we stay just outside the ball. And then this is a decision point that we need to rotate. So the ball goes over there. Yeah, that was my player. next question, actually. Yeah. You do end up over there. Yeah, so then we're going to... You guys stay off the rim. Thank you. Stay off the rim, mascot. And not chin strap. So when we rotate, we still need to officiate where we're coming from. Because this is still our primary. And so, the players are probably moving. So we're going to go walk, elbow, elbow, block. Trail, that's a 28 shot. 